Hello, Internet. Welcome to uh, the Stanley Parable. Uh, with me, I'm Chris, and you're you're you, um, and you're here, and we're going to play a game called. Uh, uh, I immediately put off. Immediately presented with this question. We'll go English. Cool. Ooh, interesting. So I have I have played the Stanley Parable before. Um, if you're watching this, maybe you have, maybe you haven't. Uh, if you haven't, you are in for a you're in for a treat because I, I bloody loved the Stanley Parable, and I'm so glad it's back with like this expanded uh, remade. I don't really know what it is, but it sounds awesome. I will do yes. Um, I have no idea what the difference there is. And uh, yeah, a oh, weird. I wonder if that changes the game. But you never, you never know what this what this game is going to do. It could easily be bluffing. It is eleven a.m. Uh, coming to you from uh, United Kingdom, England. Uh, cool. Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> oh, so so happy to be back playing. Cool. Yeah. Well. Um, Welcome to Chris Plays the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. I'm going to be playing through, uh, I'm going to do the whole thing. Um, I did play the Stanley Parable back in, as I say, 2013 when it came out. Um, but I'm going to be just playing this as if it was all new. I'm not going to be, any, not going to be skipping anything because I'm like, ooh, I've uh, already done this. But yeah, uh, enjoy because this, I'm expecting, I'm expecting great things. There's, uh, seriously, there's no other game like this. This There's is no the game. story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul renting, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Oh, lovely. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Took an no hour to one miss. showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Sounds like my never ideal working day. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. And here we are. Uh, I found the subtitles a little distracting. Um, and obviously, traditionally, put up the mouse sensitivity. Yeah, I might turn off... Um, are they in here? The subtitles I found a little bit. Okay, maybe you can't. Maybe that's... Oh, here we go. Off. Oh, hang on, what's... Yeah, I'll just turn them off, I think. Uh, cool. Yeah, when... You're kind of thinking, what, is this game just about being in an office? Am I going to have to push the buttons? No, you're kind of playing this, um, you know... Uh, you're playing this character who discovers, oh, there must be more to life than just this office. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. <laughs> um, obviously the narrator is the basically the whole reason to play this game. And at this point you start to realise that he's kind of not only narrating you, but he's actually telling you what to do next. Uh, by going, oh, go head to the meeting room. There's not many places you can go, to be fair. But he also reacts, I think if you like look around, does he, um... well, you can also react to what you're doing. Uh, I mean, you'll find out. Um... 
but yeah, it is, it is incredible. Just wandered through an office. The music's great as a heart. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. So the first choice, uh, this is where the game will present us with, do we listen to the narrator or not? And I, I am going to listen just the first way through. I think what's quite nice is to, I would do what he says. I think you kind of find the, um, it puts everything else into context a little bit. So I'm going to follow his instructions. Yet now. there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. <laughs> it's so weird because in the like lockdown, nobody came to meetings and we forgot how to use whiteboards and meeting rooms. Uh, what did about 432? See, none of them are named. I love how all the employees are just numbers. Uh, cabal planning. Do not alter that consulting whiteboard manager. Don't tell 432 about the meeting. Excellent. <laughs> Targets. Push a funny variety of the new coffee machine. Get Chris out of the broom closet. Synergize papers. Hire someone to synergize papers. Papers are too synergized. Fire paper guy. Hire somebody to fire the paper synergizing guy. Who moved my desk? Please keep the targets or topic of blurred out. The yesterday, the future is yesterday, tomorrow is now. That makes no sense. To complete today's unfinished agenda items right next day. Pretty good reflection on what work, uh, a lot of work meetings are like. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very Dilbert-esque, if you know Dilbert, the, uh, the comic strip. Uh, which just pokes fun at just pokes fun at the office. Um, get <laughs> more water coolers, more water heaters. Get rid of the desk sport portion of the primary review schedule. Wow. Uh, how to sell <laughs> we'll just look at a couple of the slides. That is pretty much how it works, yeah. Make sure, <laughs> make sure the slide is a slick blue graphic on the header. Throw some bevel on all the text. Yeah. Profit, profit, profits, profits. Okay, let's carry on. Everyone is unique, remember? Including you, dear watcher of this game. You're important to me. You're important to me. And I hope you have a good experience. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. For now... We will do what the narrator says. So it's part narrator and part instruction. So this looks this looks different. Executive bathroom. I don't, is there a, oh shit, yeah. So uh, you can E is to open doors, apparently. Yeah, that was just like an instinct, because E's always open doors. Money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money crisp. Time, <laughs> time magazine just with a clock on it. Extreme bathrooms magazine. Uh, just where's that cloth? Cloud? I can't quite read the writing on top of the mirror. That doesn't work. It's a bit hard to program mirrors, I suppose. Can't use the toilet. Can I? No, fine. I mean, it's a nice bathroom. This is the ugliest wallpaper I've ever seen. Not actually anything outside. It's just. It's just. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 28 four five but of course Stanley couldn't possibly have known this <laughs> amazing uh, yeah I love that you you walk into this office and it's immediately you think that there must be a dark secret here but it's weird that everyone's gone you know like if that's the main Stanley of just life. sat around twiddling his thumbs trying <laughs> to input anything on the device was useless since he could never possibly know that the combination was two eight four five. One, two, three, four, you say? Two, eight, 
two eight four <laughs> five. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll do it. It's very intriguing where where you, the game goes, where where you think the game's going, because you've got this guy. One, two, three, six. Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked <laughs> in, and the door just opened all by itself. And Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, what did he do? <laughs> <laughs> all right, I was going to get there. I was just, I would just want to see what you're going to say. Oh, this is weird. So we're in the, uh, we're in the back. Uh, this is all, all the same, by the way, so far as the original game. Nothing, uh, nothing different so far. But I know they spent uh, at least three years development on this. Uh, so you know, I'm expecting uh, descending plus, deeper this, into the building. This game's full of surprises. He felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Hmm. Just come all the way down. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of surprises, so, uh, I mean, the only thing you, to expect with this is not to know what to expect. Stanley walked straight ahead through the wow. large door that read Mind Control Facility. No, you don't want me to escape. You don't, <laughs> you don't want me to, to escape out of here. This is the dark secret then behind the um, behind the office. Ooh, all oh, the doors are closing as well. I'm going to uh, love the sound of like footsteps. Just a massive button with a with a light bulb on it. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Ooh, big. This is the most ridiculous office building. <laughs> Why has it got this huge... Well, it's a mind control facility. Stanley's been mind controlled to enjoy his job. He's been brainwashed to make the most efficient um, employee that he can. Uh, that's a little too small for me to read. It's probably full of very funny stuff. Another button? Camera. Now the monitors Ooh. jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Where am I? 427. There I am. See my desk? Yep, that is my room. So it all been watched. It does confirm that there's absolutely nobody in the building. It's probably really a surprise by now. Fired. <laughs> What's that's one up there, which is blue. This is so cool. I mean, this is kind of what you assume goes on in every faceless corporate, face faceless corp corporation. Why does that one go down a bit lower? Can fit them all in. Just to make it a slightly different shape, isn't it? So cool though, a very uh, memorable room if you uh, are familiar with the game. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe, it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? There's no, no. way. They would he refused do that. to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? No way. It's a game about... Here was the you know, proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labelled with emotions, happy, or sad, or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, 
Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life, for he would dismantle the controls once and for all. It's a game. It's it's the Matrix. It's a game about. It's a game about waking up to what's really going on and who you are. The insignificance of your life put into perspective. Console disabled. I wonder if that will become available. This is <laughs> now looking like a James Bond villain's uh, lab. I mean, everything's offline. So, but cool. My job's already done for me. Let's carry on. Waiting input. That's a big. That's a big monitor. Can we read any of this? It's just a bit of. Bit of standard. Bit of code. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. I think I meant to turn it off. Let's turn it off then. Let's wake up from the Matrix. <laughs> Game complete. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? He had won. He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where <laughs> had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Except that's Whatever how got life here. he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. I like the um, subtle suggestion of there might be more puzzles to solve, guys. If you haven't necessarily completed the game. And then goes on to say that this is... Uh, um, you're only here because Stanley you follow the instructions. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Cool, good game, thanks for watching. So, so there we have, <laughs> got some achievements. Uh, beat the game and get your first achievement, nice. Yeah. And then the game puts you straight back here. Hopefully you realise that there's a lot of things along the way you could have done. So I'm just going to have a little... All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. So obviously you do something different now on this next time. And there's loads of ways that you can... Uh... Uh, I remember something about this. Is this like... I think you can. I th I think. Well, yeah, I won't say anymore at this point. It, it might not even be what I remember. But I think you can. There's computers where you can. T if you get all five, something happens or something. I'm sure there we go. that was helpful, wasn't it? I feel like this is the uh, this is the thumbnail here. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. So what do we do? We'll go through the door on the right, shall we? This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Employee lounge. Yeah. Just being a bit juddery, hang on. 
That's better. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Uh, yeah, so here we ah, go. Yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really <laughs> been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. <laughs> okay, I'll start here. Drink it all in. Literally? Can't drink. No, there's nothing in there. Uh, I love how the, the narrator gets, like, sarcastic. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really <laughs> worth it. <laughs> I was actually looking at the uh, vending machine. Is it going to say something more if I stay in here? At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. <laughs> it's possible that this is why everyone left. <laughs> because they all couldn't stand me. Hey, that would make me important, at least. Anything Stanley more, sat or... around waiting for more dialogue. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh, that's probably a sign. He'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. It's, um... It, I love how the game gets so meta. So, I can go through there, like he says, and get back to the original route. Like there's a sort of lift that goes down. Or I go bollocks to it. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. This is like some workroom in the back uh, warehouse. Do not lie. If you're lying right now, stop. Good advice, really. But what if I say, oh, this is not a lie? No, th uh, that's, not, that's not weird. If I say this is a lie, is that a lie or is it not? Do I have to stop? I am lying. I am currently lying. Yeah, there you go. Figure, figure that one out, Siri. Do not jump from the cargo lift while this emotion will cause death. Penalty for misuse, penalty for jumping off the cargo lift. Uh, I mean, I have to take the lift, I think. What is this office? It's just this enormous warehouse. Okay, get on the lift. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Could go down there. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Hmm. For her. This, this is, is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself, to put your work aside, to let her back into your life. She's been waiting. <laughs> so, she never. So is this? He's going to blackmail me now because he's annoyed that I um, uh, went against his instructions. He's trying to blackmail me with with her, what my wife. I don't have any. Uh, well, that's dark. Okay. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Blimey. Pretty, uh... I could also maybe unplug it. Or just wait. I don't really have... I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just kind of making choices as we go along. Uh, maybe we'll figure out a strategy. There's no strategy, what am I talking about? Who, no one's on the phone? 47, that's me. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie, sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the flat out of the oven. All right. All right, okay, Karen. there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about... Your day. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha! Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. 
Let me show you what's really going on here. Uh, no. Sorry, Bye. but oh, you're God. in my story now. <laughs> oh, boy. I've, I've pissed him off. Haven't he's, uh, this is like emotional abuse. What's he, is he taking me home? How does he have this much control over, like, the game as well? This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. What the hell's going on? Good morning, employee 47. Press M on your keyboard. Oh, it's like my job. He's taking the piss, isn't he? He's making me do... In order Stanley to continue. is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. He's... Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. Oh, what the One hell? might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. If I'm that inconsequential, why are you putting so much attention on me? But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Hmm. Oh, I can watch TV. It can happen in my mind. That's all we need. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. Oh. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. So this is like, in order to give myself some meaning, I just go into a fantasy. And this game is my fantasy or something. Spend time with the boys. So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Prepared dinner. This room is slowly turning into my office, isn't it? As he wandered through this fantasy oh. world, he oh, began dear. to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. All right, spoilers for some of the other things. So the Stanley Parable is all in my head, is it? To give myself... To convince myself that my life means something. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Tell your wife you love her. But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. Hang on, that's the time. Right? Didn't I put in 11 a.m. and it's 11... Wow, is it the actual time? That's pretty weird. Press N to go to sleep. So I, I feel like I should look at the bed when it's... Because I look at the TV and it changed. I look at the um, fridge when it said make dinner and it changed. And I'm trying to tell him this, that or in not. this world he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Okay, I won't do it. This, I, that's, I think that's going forward. Okay, to distract myself from the instruction on the screen, let's let's watch the watch the clock. Not watch the clock. Let's just watch it for a while. I'm bored. I suspect <laughs> I'm not going to get much more until I press it, which is kind of the point of the narration, isn't it? 
Love his voice, though. Doesn't he have the best voice? You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Question nothing. Just a pawn in the game, aren't I? I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. Blimey. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried... Ah. Did it come to an end? That was... <laughs> so, like, the narrator, is it just my thoughts? Hey, the clock went back to what it was. Okay, it always starts at 11.20 then, does it? Okay, that's, is that just a massive coincidence? That I put the time in at 11am and that's what it shows. Um, so, we're back at the start. The narrator then is, like, saying he's nothing but my thoughts. All and, of his uh, co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace my... of his co-workers. I think there's a, is there a computer I could touch. Yeah, here we go. I'm going to just do that again. Is that always like that? Yeah, so the narrator's being kind of my thoughts, and they're also my thoughts about my thoughts. Ooh. Shall I, <laughs> shall I go to the door marked new content? I think I will. That wasn't there before. I love that it makes you play the game twice before you. There's nothing new. Okay, okay game. You got me hooked. Let's go. Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content? It means, I can't go this way. It means that I've an expansion pack for this game. Okay, this is this is new to me. If you hadn't. I don't know if it's an expansion or like just kind of changing all the existing endings of the game. But no, it's actually a whole new content bit. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. Wow. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, nice. delighting audiences the world over. This is so cool. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. <laughs> I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Wow, it's like you read my thoughts. Uh, yeah, so the original game just has loads and loads of endings depending on which door you go through and whether you do what he says or what options you, you take. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. I'm pretty mesmerized. I have absolutely no idea um, what's in store. Is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... or oh, here we go. All right, finally, <laughs> at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. <laughs> it's actually saying what I'm thinking. Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. It's as if them... Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. <laughs> Such a, like... Um... We can't be asked to wait a few seconds for a, um, All right. for a lift. All right, let's see. It's 
the jump circle? Uh, yeah, we could do the jump circle. That looks that looks fun. I'll go in there and jump for a bit. Is is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? It's just another lift. Is that the lift I came in on? It's messing with the physics. Probably not, is it? Okay, I'll play your game. Game. <laughs> Pretty fun. Okay, we got this. I can see why it took them three years to design. Like, they've, they've had to program in a jump. You know? That's really difficult to do. <laughs> Famously, you couldn't jump in the original game, actually. Okay. Done. I'll do what you tell me. Can't jump anymore. You can't. No, yeah. Achievement, you can't jump. Uh, thank you for that. Um, I'm thrilled. 13 I paid for this. Pound sterling. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, <laughs> I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. <laughs> yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready it's, for whatever it is. It's a uh, <laughs> it's it's a commentary, isn't it, on our uh, desire for the always want more new stuff that has to be bigger and better. And we're not grateful for what we have. <laughs> no, you're That's welcome. it? Oh you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality <laughs> assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. Oh, it's my fault, Stanley. <laughs> I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. No frills. No gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? Uh, don't think I have a choice. <laughs> oh, that is new. It's like, it's your own fault for getting so excited. Yeah, of course these developers would never uh, put out a cheap expansion. I mean, this is, this is new. Why can't I be there again? Weird, because that's what you see when you normally come out, so it's showing me... I don't think I can open doors. What? St Stanley! Come over here! In the vent! I want to show you something! Hmm. Do we... F <laughs> it's, it's back to the old, do we do what he says, or do we not? Time's completely different. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with the time. Joe, you know I will. I'll, go on then. Like we did before. Let's let's do what he says. We can always get back later. Oh, you can crouch. Great, you can crouch. We can't jump. Coffee nut. So the narrator has some kind of power over the game, but is also observing the game at the same time as us, <clears throat> which is a very strange position for him to be in. So it's like the puzzle is... Okay, it's like the you remember how puzzle. cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Blimey. Just our little secret. Take a look. You made this and hid it in the game. 
Do the developers know about this? Ooh. Well, this is nothing like what's in the original game. We'd like a. Uh... Wow. I call it the memory zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the oh, launch great. of the Stanley Parable on PC. Can't go back. <laughs> yeah, that was a great memory. And uh, you'd think that it's been nine years since I made that, and yet his, no, his voice is exactly the same. Kevin. Kevin Brighting is the narrator. Absolutely incredible. Man, I'm judging him basically on his skill to narrate this game, which is good. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. <laughs> it's the old um, Steam game. Something in Russian on it there, down at the bottom left. It's the Russian Steam. The Memory Zone. It's the most. It's a video game about video games. Time indoors, indoors monthly shapes. Lenny Smith talks about his new box. Graphs. I do a lot of graphs at work, thanks. Don't won't be looking at that one. National Geographic, that oh, just sounds normal. Cargo. It's a video game about this video game as well. The Stanley Parable by by the narrator. Twenty thirteen, nice. Happy memories. Why is that just an old man and his dog? What does that say? The memory zone temp. <laughs> temp. Temporary version. The original remake. Well, yeah, so the 2013 release was a remake itself. Yeah, that looks like, a, that looks like that's from the Steam webpage. Mozilla, do you remember that? Good times. I mean, this is in the game, right? I could have gone and done this. In loving memory. Good game. Shame it's all over. Smile because it happened. A trip down memory lane. They <laughs> took a lot of... Uh, One dollar. Why is that in here? That's not a, that's not a um, memory. Do they get rid of the one dollar bill? No, right? Of course they didn't. What a ridiculous question. Sunny Power demo. Go outside. <laughs> it's possible to get this achievement. I do not have that achievement, and I don't know. Also, I didn't go outside. Ever. Just haven't been outside. Awards. Yeah, yeah, well done, well done. Oh, just big it up. Story, debut game, innovation. I mean, it is a great game. You don't need to tell me. I've bought this game because I enjoyed it so much. <laughs> Created surprisingly down to earth. Rutgers goes from scandal to new crisis. Colleges show uneven effort to involve poor. Yeah. Late edition today. Sunny, hot, humid, high 92. Blah, blah, blah. 50% off designer hat. But the small but a small creature owns the other half. <laughs> uh, I think that's one of the endings. Stanley jumps out of a window or something. Always walking along and dies. Cool. Right. Well, let's actually play a game instead of looking at a game. Look at looking at memories of a game. Looking at memories of this game. This is it's weird. I don't. I can't. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote. Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? 
every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim, it was Persona 3, it was all of them, and now it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now, a lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. <laughs> uh, this counts as content, kind of. To be honest, if he's talk, if if the narrator's talking, I'm, that's content. It's just developers <laughs> going on about how good the how good the game was, which is very fitting for this game. Up or down? Did that just close to me? No. Let's stay. We'll stay on the main path for now. Person of the year. Implying that that's Stanley, is it? Here's Stanley and some woman. Designing the Stanley Parable. In Unity. The original remake. This place is massive. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games, and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. I mean, it, what he's reading out isn't actually what's in this review. But it doesn't, <laughs> you have to walk up to this review in order for him to say it. Um, yeah, I don't know, if you want to read that, I guess pause it and give it a little read. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm not going to do that. That's, this is blocked. The serious room. Uh, I'm to, can I jump again? No, the jumps are gone. I wonder if I could have saved some of those jumps in order to use now. That'd be weird. Which is how I get in. Also, I can't crouch anymore. You can only crouch and jump exactly when the game tells you. That's locked as well. I can't go anywhere. Remember the serious room? I think you get there by... Um, you try and type a cheat code into the console. Or you type no clip or something. And it, <laughs> and it reacts and... Uh, <sighs> These were there. simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. I see what you're doing. You're bigging me up because we have it here all again. We get to we get to play through it all over again. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? It's the maintenance bit, mate. This is memory zone maintenance. Okay, I'm sufficiently hyped for. God, what the hell is all this? This is not. Oh, no. God, no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online <laughs> video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's being collecting down here. Surely <laughs> these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? <laughs> I'm sure they were, but I love that it. <laughs> they acknowledge it's too meta. I can't handle it. I can't handle it. <laughs> Amazing. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is me. obnoxious and unfunny, with his humour and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be <laughs> funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. 
I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Blimey. I didn't really expect... I mean, to be honest, I was expecting more office um, wandering and just lots of endings. This is actually <laughs> telling you to like an exploration game. If you haven't played the original... Uh, or, or watch the let's play of it. It's probably a good idea to do that at some point. I, there's probably no spoilers in this. It's not that kind of game. But I will be. F looks like I'll be focusing on the new stuff. Um, though you never really know. Maybe I will have to go and play the old stuff through again with a game like this. But if you did want to see that, you might be better. Than what, you might be. Might be a good idea to go and watch a. Uh, you know, uh, a playthrough of the 2013. But still, this is this is all this is all new as well. Let's see what this one says. Gives you a good set you up for, for the game is what to good. expect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy, Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? <laughs> you can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh dear, what an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. Um, I love that there's just these recommended ones just thrown in. As if the developers like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got loads of recommended ones. Not that one, though. So the developer's kind of being... The, the narrator's kind of being the developer's voice. And their self-awareness. Or a view almost of their own of their own game. This is weird. I did not expect piles and piles of um, like boxes and skips being outside. I mean, this feels more like Portal right now. In like a wasteland. But if this game does anything, it surprises you. And that is what I What's like the most about it. Say? You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. It's not going like that. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto oh. today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. <laughs> it's going to give me a skip button. Continuing the theme of not being able to backtrack. Forward only. Can't fall off. There's a skip button in here. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people, and if the people want silence, then by goodness, that's what they're going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. Here, we'll <laughs> pretend that I've just begun an interminable monologue, and it goes something like this. The story and the choice <laughs> or what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably, we all until the end of time, at which time everything all at once, so, now you see, blah, 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 <laughs> Long blah, leave blah, it. blah, 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 we've eaten too much and it can't be just yet, no, no, until 245, that the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes impossible to manufacture, it went on for nearly 10,000 years, until until just yesterday, here and there, for <laughs> oh, never a moment before lunchtime. Oh my god, I can't handle it. 
It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say... I can't handle it. ...and the choices, or what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until... That's inevitably, repeated. ...we all until the end of time, at which time everything all... I'm doing it, I'm doing it, it's so repeated. Now you see... God. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Of course, I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, you need a description of it, I'm but to if skip I again. to describe it, I'd say it was perhaps less of a rumination and more of a treatise. Or maybe a manifesto. I can't add look. Do I skip I'll again? I'll line it for you very briefly and you can tell me what you think. Okay, <laughs> so my theory is that any choice you've ever made is simply a series of choices made by the person who you are or were or will be at the time of having made said choice. That is to say, if by articulating a choice you've already made, you bring that choice into being, then by making no choice and saying nothing, are you not simply erecting in the sanctuary of time a monument oh, I can't take to it. every person you've ever been, making Absolute every rambling. choice to which you've ever given your great gift of mortal and yet timeless thought? Or rather, do all of the choices you've ever made, in fact, make you more not this kind of person, and in fact, do the very opposite? You see, it could in fact be both of these things at once. No, skip, skip, skip. skip. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Oh, I can't wait to see what Cookie 9 will say about this, and whether they'll edit the rating of their Steam review, or at least change <laughs> some of the wording, perhaps. To be honest, I don't even know if one can change their review in the first place. <laughs> I'm going mad. They should become better educated on exactly how Steam works. Perhaps that would have been the smart thing to check on before I went about this whole exercise of making a skip button. How long I, I have to imagine that after seeing this exciting new technology at work, surely whoever it is runs Steam will instantly run out and implement a new feature to make it possible to edit one's review, merely because of this very situation. Yes, I think that's quite likely. Or perhaps they'll simply grant this particular user the ability to change their review, so that the feature is not widely available. Oh, I'm doing it, I can't. Well, I would... <laughs> okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping oh, through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes? It's not unendurable by any means, but it's... Well, there's it's really been an hour. I can ramble on to myself about. I know, it's shocking, isn't it? But at any rate, I do suggest that we not press the button again. I think the skip button has it's been aptly it. demonstrated, and we can say goodbye to it and just... Wait, how do we get out of here? Where did the door go? Wasn't there a door that led into this room? I do yes. feel quite certain that there was one here before. How else would we have gotten into the room in the first place? I don't think one can enter a room without a door of some sort or a window or something like that. Do you see? No, wait, you're doing it again. You're, you're, doing it, you're doing it again. A sufficiently large crack in the wall. I'll take any of these. All I want is for us to move on and to please step away from the skip button to go anywhere other than the skip button. There was a door here before, wasn't there? I swear there was. Where did it go? I'm <laughs> you maybe just ram your way through a wall? Is there any possibility that you could, say, slam your body into the wall until enough on, damage is done for you to be able to oh. leave? Please, I'll take any option at all. Oh. I'm asking you to work with me here. I, <laughs> we need a door. We need a door of some kind. I can work with oh, any man. kind of door as no. long as it can... That's, that's enough. Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, please don't push the button again! It's been 12 hours! You've oh just been frozen there! I don't know why the skips are getting longer, <laughs> but they're really, truly getting longer, and my god, there's no way out of the room. I'm mad, Stanley, I'm going the door mad. is gone, it's completely gone. I've looked at it from every angle, I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times. I'm gonna go insane. Times. I'm going insane. There's no door, Stanley. There's no door. There's just you and the button, and if you keep pressing it, I have no idea what will happen. I have no idea how long I'll be made to sit here, and more stop than talking, anything then. else, I don't <laughs> know how to stop you from pressing the button again! 
I can't control anything in this room, Stanley. I can't touch it. And I have to believe. I have to know that sooner or later, no matter how much I plead with you, you're going to press the button again. Why would you? I've Seems been likely. Thinking and thinking, and I, I don't know what I can do to convince you otherwise. Three oh o'clock. God. And it's all because of those reviews. Those reviews that I right, forget it. No. I just no. <laughs> oh, Stanley, you're back. Oh boy. You're back. Oh my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. I think it's been a week or two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time, just sitting here, not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? Me just talking? But it isn't standing. It isn't the same at all. It isn't even <laughs> close. Because I know you can't hear me once you push that button. That's what I'm realizing now, Stanley. I'm realizing that I needed to know that someone was listening. I needed there to be a vessel through which my words were moving. It was the no. vessel I needed, Stanley. Not the no. outcomes, not the story. None of that matters anymore. I'll give it all up. I'll give up every branching path. I'll burn my story to the ground. One single thing I need, and God, I can see now that I need it more than anything, is to know that someone else is taking it in. These words <laughs> that I'm saying, I need to know you can hear me. Because maybe, Stanley, maybe said a lot of them. if you can hear me, then maybe it means I'm real. Maybe oh, I'm God. not just a fiction. Was I scared of that all along? Perhaps, yes. Perhaps I've been scared this no. whole time. <laughs> I'll come. I'll slip back. I, I can't. I can't. I'll go fucking insane. <laughs> oh, hello. It's you. You're here oh, again. Now what? I have had time to think Still about no you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had this is crazy. so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt nothing at all but regret for the longest time, Stan. I've been there the whole time. Days, months. I lost it all in a blur of the deepest longing to undo the past. And when that feeling had begun to subside, what took its place is what I can only describe as the collapse <laughs> of every moment I have ever experienced my entire life. I can't. All of them collapsed down into a single instant. In that instant, I could see myself clearly, calmly, with a collected heart. We'll come back and make some kind of unabridged full version of, of, of this, but simultaneously. Uh, this is. Stop talking, man. Stop talking, I won't skip. Oh, we're still here, God. This game, how did it manage to. He stopped. He finally stopped. I love how. Um, it, it makes you look like. Let's see if anything changes. I just like the attention to detail that they actually put something back here. I know I've gone past it loads of times. Okay, he stopped talking. Uh, did he die? I mean, now I kind of want you to say something. That clock stopped a long time ago. So we're in a bit that he didn't know was here, and yet he's ad he's managed to add the skip button and put it in this bit of the game. So, it's obviously got some influence. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to press it. Is that the fire alarm? Why is that going off? <laughs> it's just going off, just because it is. Yeah, absolutely. I'm baffled. I mean, I'm shocked that the game has managed to, like, confound me again with this met this rambling and then the skip button that you actually want to use. You think, oh, I'm going to listen to him out, and then you can't. He talks so much shite. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. <laughs> it was meant to speak to the human condition. But where He's are back. the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. 
It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs-down review and make all of their pitiful demands. But then, <laughs> he's talking too much, they said. First, he didn't entertain us, now he won't shut up. It's the inconsistency, it's the <laughs> lack of accountability. It's the unwillingness to examine with an uncompromising heart the words that they are speaking into the world. As though there were no consequences for a lack of cohesion in one's assessment of others. But of course, absolutely anyone can leave a review. So here's what we get. We get these demands that seek everything and are accountable to nothing. We get a world where someone will say, oh, this... Oh no, I can't. There's any so... <laughs> just babbles. Oh, we're stuck. We're stuck. There's nothing going on. I mean, I can always guarantee that, that he will talk for about 20 minutes. Um, in the original game, there was an ending that you had to push a button for four hours straight. And if you managed to do that, you would it, it present you with a little bit of content to reward you. Uh, but, you know what, like, life's, life's too short. You know, there's a, there's a whole game to see. This isn't the time to be, like, going deep. You know, breadth over depth for now. The end I feel. is never the end, 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 is never the end. I definitely don't want to hear that for long. end is never the end. He's been here the whole time. We're just skipping forward more and more of time. Doesn't mind me, it's it's quite portal esque, isn't it? And again. It's fun clicking a skipper. Oh dear. Oh dear me. We're gonna wake up one time and the building's not even gonna. So every time we pressed it was getting ex exponentially longer. So this I mean there's probably like centuries between these presses. This is mad. Want to be? Are we happy that? Are we happy or sad that the narrator stopped talking? I don't know. Damn. That's, that's actually the portal to uh, <laughs> ceiling textures and plants growing. Oh, I'm definitely not complaining. But this is a very different game. It's peaceful, we can always stay here. We'll do a little bit more and then probably call it for the first vid. Because otherwise it It will just be this. <laughs> it would just be an entire episode on this on this skip button. I'm utterly enthralled, though, for what this game has in store, because this is this has been very, very surprising and enjoyable. Oh, this is a long derelict. Did I get trapped? No. All the plants have died a long time ago. Is the clock still there? Clock's been crushed. Weird noise. The hell is that? Aliens? Pretty cool sound effect. Thank God the skip button's still working. Oh no. side. Oh, wow. It's been so long, the room's just collapsed. The skip button stopped working. Where are we? Where are we? What day? What what year is it? What, what millennia is it? Oh, dear. Thing left in the world. 
was that building with us with with me at the skip button. God, now what? This is not. This is not the Stanley Parable anymore. I don't know what this is. Can't climb up on that. Oh. Oh. It stopped me. Now we'll be back at the beginning. Wow. And then it surprised us again just by taking us right back to the start. I'm going to have a break. Um, you know, I need to think about what's just happened. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on uh, episode two of uh, the Stanley Parable uh, Ultra Deluxe. Bye.